بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل آئی ایم یور انگلش ٹیچر ضیاء حمید آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ریڈی فار ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو لیسن ویلکم ٹو انگلش گریڈ سکس ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور آ اسٹوڈنٹ لرننگ آؤٹ کم آف اورل کمیونیکیشن اٹ مینس یور اورل کمپیٹنسی ویئر یو کین لرن ٹو یوز دا لینگویج ان پریکٹیکل ناؤ لیٹ سی واٹ وی ہیو ٹو ڈے Today we have this student's learning outcome which says adopt rhetorical patterns in one's own speech for example by providing facts like the earth revolves around the sun, opinions like I think it will rain today and descriptions. For example, it's a sunny morning etc. Now this is our student's learning outcome. And here we will talk about rhetorical patterns when we are speaking, when we are talking to someone and we need to know that what we are saying is, is it a fact, is it an opinion and when we are describing things in detail, when we are adding descriptions, how we can do it correctly. So some examples are given over here in the SLO to clarify what the learning outcome is about. We are going to see what is a fact, what is an opinion. We are actually going to revise it because you have been learning it from the past two or three lectures. And one more thing, one new thing is description. We will see that how we can add description and detail into our sentences. So when we are communicating with somebody, we can use the knowledge, the uh, idea of quoting facts, saying our opinions or just describing things in detail with description. So this is our whole uh, students learning outcome. We are going to be good communicators, good speakers by using this learning outcome. So you have to practice very much more. You have to speak up. If you are feeling underconfident, then just work on yourself and build up your confidence and speak more. Because the more you speak, the more quickly you will learn the English language. Now, This is your vertical linkage of grade 5 and for today because since you are you have been learning these concepts for some previous lessons can you tell me and can you quote a fact an opinion and also a sentence with description yes can anyone tell me what a fact an opinion and a description is Yes, take a moment, take two minutes, think about it and share the answers with your teacher. All right, good. Now, let's see what a fact is. A fact, which we have, we have been learning from two lessons, this is something that is true and this can be proven. For example, the earth revolves around the sun. This is a fact. It is true. No matter who says it, it is still true now let's look at some examples of fact over here the pacific ocean is the largest ocean on earth chocolate chip cookies taste better when they are warm is it a fact no this is an opinion the room was filled with soft scent of lavender creating a calming atmosphere now this is a so much this is so much detail about the room it was filled with soft scent soft smell fragrance of lavender it is creating a calming atmosphere now this is an example of description this is an example of an opinion that somebody saying chocolate chip cookies taste better Somebody can say, no, it does not taste better. So this is varying from person to person. It is different with every person. So this is an opinion. And can you prove it? No, we cannot prove opinions. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean on earth. Yes, it is a fact. You can check it. You can verify from different sources and it will be proven true and truthful. Now, this was not only an example of fact but we, I've also told you an example of opinion and also 
a description in a sentence where one noun, your subject, you can add so much detail and describe it. How does it smell, look, taste it, etc. How does it feel to touch? You add descriptions, details and that is what we call description in a sentence. Now, let's see. An opinion is a personal belief. It means it is related to a person. It is a belief or feeling that a person have and that cannot be proven true or false. All these kind of statements are called opinions. I think it will rain today. Maybe somebody would say, I don't think it's going to rain today. So this is just your opinion. Okay, now let's look at description. It's taken from the word describing or describe. A description is a detailed explanation of something using sensory details. All those details that are related to your five senses, what you see, hear, feel, how somebody tastes, uh, something tastes like, etc. For example, it's a sunny morning. Now, how is the morning? The morning is sunny. It means the sun is shining brightly. The sun is on the peak. It's sunny morning. There may be a little much heat over there as well. So, we are having all these descriptions, the, this implied and visible description in our sentences. So, can you make some sentences with description? Take a moment, do this really quickly and then we can move on. Also, write a fact that you can know that you know is truthful. This is this is can this can be proven and this is true. And also write two or three opinions that you know which is opposite of a fact. Now, here is an activity. You have to read all these and then identify the fact and the opinion. Now, let's see. The earth orbits the sun once every 365 days. This is a fact. Vanilla ice cream is the best flavor. This is an opinion. The tall ancient oak tree stood proudly in the, in the middle of the field. What is it? The tall ancient oak tree stood proudly in the middle of the field. This is description. Because we are describing the tree. The Eiffel Tower is located in Paris, France. This is a fact. The new movie was incredibly boring and not worth watching. This is an opinion. Her dress was a vibrant shade of red flowing gracefully as she walked. What are we talking about? Her dress. And we are giving the description. This is description. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. This is a fact. Dogs are more loyal pets than cats. No, somebody else can say no. Cats are loyal than dogs. So, this is an opinion. Now, now when you can discuss the upcoming activity, you can communicate and have group discussions and you can clearly see the patterns, the rhetorical patterns with facts, opinions and you can also see description. Here is a simulation link to watch for more details, more information and now for the classroom activity, you have to just fasten your seat belts and be ready because we are going to do this group discussion. You have to be, uh, you have to be ready, pair up and work in pairs and interview each other to gather facts about each other. Gather facts, things that are true like when were you born or what grade you are in. All these are going to be facts. Share facts for certain themes such as share facts from your childhood, personal information like your name, age, eye color, address, all these will be your facts. This is true. Hobbies, things I am great at, etc. Or you can choose topic of your own choice. Give an opinion based on each corresponding fact. If a student tells his age for a fact, his partner could tell, I think he looks younger for his age or he appears older than his age. So, ask for facts, 
ask questions to each other and then comment on that and that those comments should be of opinions and now you can have a very beautiful very interesting discussion with your peers in the whole class and you can clearly use the rhetorical patterns in your speech now for the homework you have to read the lesson read the main lesson and identify facts opinions and descriptions used in it so go to the main lesson and take up your pencil and highlight opinions facts and description this is so easy if you do it now all these resources are added you will have your lesson plan and your powerpoint presentation thank you for listening i hope that now we are clear about these three things mentioned over here facts opinions and description now i hope that you will enjoy doing your classroom activity of group discussion ask rhetorical interview questions and do comments on that and one person can be a judge and point out whether something is a fact or it is an opinion so collaborate with each other do it really in a very fun way i'll see you in the next video lesson allah hafiz